Are we going to have a UFO disclosure? Do aliens really exist? I don't know. And I'm just going to be honest with you, you know? But there's this new post that just came out from the New York Times today or yesterday. And, um, you know, it's interesting. So let's look at it. I won't read the whole thing, but I'll link to it in the description below, as I usually do, so you can read it if you want. It says, for over a decade, the program, now tucked inside the Office of Naval Intelligence, has discussed mysterious events in classified briefings. Of course, there was some um, video footage that showed up and everything, and um, I actually did a video about this kind of stuff on my channel. So just a quick note, I did do a video called Is Disclosure Coming? You can search for it on my YouTube channel. The Awareness Revolution, and you know, I go into detail about how I first heard about a planned fake UFO invasion when I first heard about conspiracy theories. It was one of the first um, conspiracy theories I heard. Uh, it was written about in a book by Stan Dale. Um, but, you know, so I'm skeptical of it, you know, coming from the government. And the timing is really interesting right now. Um, there's a lot going on, obviously. And, you know, I um, I think, it, you know, it's just as likely that they would fake some sort of alien invasion as, you know, as uh, likely as it is that they would tell us the truth about finding aliens. So here, let's read some more of this. Despite Pentagon statements that it disbanded a once covert program to investigate unidentified flying objects, the effort remains underway, renamed and tucked inside the Office of Naval Intelligence, where officials continue to study mystifying encounters between military pilots and unidentified aerial vehicles. Again, look up Stephen Greer and the Disclosure Project. There are tons of people within the government within the military um particularly that have seen ufos and all this other stuff and um so i think there's a big story coming here um it's just you know will the government give us the truth well usually they don't okay so just keep that in mind Pentagon officials will not discuss the program, which is not classified, but deals with classified matters. Yet it appeared last month in a Senate committee report outlining spending on the nation's intelligence agencies for the coming year. The report said the program, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, was to, quote, standardize collection and reporting, end quote, on sightings of basically UFOs. And then it says the report... Um, and they were to report at least some of its findings to the public within 180 days after passage of the Intelligence Authorization Act. So, you know, what are they going to report? At least some of its findings? Uh, you know, which means that means they don't have to report everything. Well, what are we paying them for? Who's funding them? You know, like, the government is supposed to be us, for the people, and all this other stuff. Well, why do they only have to report some of it? National Security? BS. Come on. And that's kind of what they go on about is like, you know, they're concerned that maybe China or Russia has made some technological leap, you know, and it, they're worried about it being a threat against the U.S. I mean, come on, we spend as much as the rest of the world combined on our military for us to be sitting here like, oh, I'm worried that someone else, you know, come on. It's ridiculous, actually. The thing is, is, you know, they mentioned um, some people in here. A, including a guy who worked for the government who says that, um, that you know, we, the people need to know about what they find and stuff like that. So it says, after looking at this, I came, in, I came to the conclusion that there were reports. Some were, uh, anyway, that were actual materials that the government and the private sector had in their possession. One of the more interesting things in this article, it says, uh, it mentions Mr. Elizondo is among a small group of former government officials and scientists with security clearances who, without presenting physical proof, say they are convinced that objects of undetermined origin 
had crashed on Earth with materials retrieved for study. It then goes on to talk about Mr. Davis, who now works for Aerospace Corporation, a defense contractor, said he, he gave a classified briefing to a Defense Department agency as recently as March about retrievals from, quote, off-world vehicles not made on this Earth, end quote. Says he also gave classified briefings to staff members of the Senate Armed Services Committee in October of uh, 2019 and the staff members of the Senate Intelligence Committee two days later. So no crash artifacts have been publicly produced for independent verification. Um, there are you know some people that claim to have had them um, and the guy died this you know and the materials disappeared i wrote about that in my um, mysterious deaths of outspoken people who threaten the establishment that's the name of a article i have on my website theawarenessrevolution.com just go there and type that in mysterious deaths put that in and, and the post will show up and it's a list and there's more people i need to add to the list but um, if you know of anyone, I should add to the list because it's ever growing. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below of more mysterious deaths of important people. But anyway, um, one, one of, there's, um, I forget the guy's name, but I've seen the videos and stuff of him a long time ago, back before the YouTube censorship, back when there was all kinds of good stuff on there that was easily accessible. I don't, they don't recommend good videos to me anymore like they used to and you know they censor my work as well so they censor other people to keep me from finding them and now they shadow ban me to keep people from finding me and this is ever since my channel was deleted two years ago so um give me a like and a thumbs up share this video share my any of my go through my videos on my youtube channel and if any of them resonate with you you think maybe your friends will be interested in watching some of the videos, share them. That's the only way people are going to see my videos. Include my documentary called Pan Deception from COVID-19 to the New World Order, which I made. Um, yeah, I mean, people are only seeing these things if people share them. So share them far and wide, guys. Um, check out this post if you want. Just, you know, look up um, other things like Project Bluebeam and stuff. And, you know, let's really think about this because the public could easily be swayed. Obviously, you know, as, as you see with the, everything from the riots to the masks and stuff, you know, people are easily misled. And it looks like the, this UFO thing, while I think is very interesting and, and think that they do need to tell us the truth, I think there are, um, there, you know, there's, there's some sort of um, trick here and, you know, that would, that would be why, you know, we're talking about the New York Times and the Pentagon. I mean, these are the usual suspects. So don't expect any type of truth to come out of here. So always be wondering what they might really be up to. Because whatever they're telling you is kind of like the magician where they are distracting you with one hand while they're doing something else with their other hand. So keep that in mind. Of course... I'm sure if you're here, you already know, don't believe anything the media says, but it looks like something may be coming up soon regarding UFOs. Um, so it's an interesting story um, to continue being developed. I, I think there is a lot of um, evidence out there for UFOs, whether it's from other planets, whether it's from advanced technology here that is being suppressed or a combination of the two. Um, there, you know, you can look up into the night sky with night goggles with high end ones and you can see all kinds of UFOs on a regular basis. So, you know, who knows what's going on, but, um, just wanted to share this guys with you. So like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video.